Hello there, Mike. One minute. Well, that definitely needs some work. Holy crap. I was just like, I appeared before the freaking thing disappeared. <laughs> All right. It could be my uh, internet having lovely, lovely issues again. But uh, I have to send out um something on Google Chrome. And so Chrome's open right now. And I'll be damned. It's, it's murdering... It's murdering my script skip frame rate. It's, it's out of this world. Alright, one minute. Post. What the hell? Wow, thanks for pulling by my house at this exact time, being loud as possible. Everybody loved that. Alright, post that. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's done. That's done for now. Um, Alright, let's get some ambiance in here, shall we? Oh, Mike, I don't think you're here for this last time. We were playing this murder mystery game, right? All the faces are terrifying. And it's so much. It's so much. It's so much. All right. Wait. Let me get Task Manager to make sure that Google Chrome really is closed. Because Google Chrome likes to pretend it's closed and then be open somewhere. Found you, you bastard. Dah. Dah. All right. Good. I I destroyed it before it had a chance to, you know, destroy me back. All right, so let's get started. This is a murder mystery game where uh, we're trying to find wh uh, why why uh, why a dead person is dead. Not just how, but why. And who? This game is so uncanny. Get ready for that, by the way. Um, 
Auto save. Which one's further? This one. All right. Yes. Okay, I need my phone out for reasons that are obvious. I sent it everywhere but one place. Look at her face. Look at my face. Look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face. Bulma. Bulma. It's like Bulma's panties. <laughs> Holy freaky gosh. The fact that you have to go back and say to yourself, that was the first wish on the Dragon Balls ever. Hello! That friendly platypus was good. Pant. Yeah. Pantas. Yeah. Plant. Receptionist. This receptionist is huge. Brunch city. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, like, you're not seeing any more than that. But, you know, good to know. Alright. Let's get on with it. I think we asked him everything. Oh. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? Oh. You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? Well, to be fair, it's kind of sketch. I'm sure that plane is very important. Yeah, no. This is an important tip we'll save for later, Platypus. This will help in our quest for uh, solving a murder. It's like, I'm going to do uh, what that person did that made the website. There's a website, and if you type in any actor or actress's name, it will link it all the way to another Kevin Bacon movie, I think. And I'm just like, why? Somebody wrote a name in, like, Chinese, and they linked it. Like a Chinese uh, actress, I believe, or actor, and it linked it all the way to Kevin Bacon, and it was weird. It's like, this person was this, this movie, which was also with this movie, featuring this person that was also in a movie with Kevin Bacon. I'm just like, what? <laughs> so that that's what we're going to do with this plant. So remember this. Toward the end, I'm going to say something about it, and everybody's going to be like, why? And I'm like, because of that plant. And you'll see. You'll see. I didn't mean to. You're 24, bro. You left a 12-year-old by themselves. Why would you meet a... Bruh. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. Damn, shitty on him so hard. <laughs> oh yeah, that's I your- I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Wow. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? Cause you'd call me a coward. You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. Almost. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me. Yes, it's you're 24 and she's 12. There, there's, there's a little bit of a worrisome thing right there. Her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> she knows I'd kill him. And her. <laughs> I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. So your cell phone somewhere at the crime scene. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Ota's phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. Oh, then we have this mascot, which I want 20,000 of. Her name is Aiba, right? Ah! Hi, Dolphin. Thank you for the show. I'm surprised why everything Bro didn't go Dolphin off. Dolphin 7 just subscribed. Let's go, boy. Subara 3XD. Subara 3XD. Subara 3XD. Oh, I see. It's going to be like that, Subara huh? 3XD. Subara 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 3XD.
Yeah, it'd be like that. It, it reads the <laughs> the uh, input for uh. Since it didn't do it for you, I will do it manually, and I have to figure out exactly how to fix it now. Because I've been trying to fix all the throwing things. So, uh, as a reward for, um, for what is it? You get confetti and throw things. Alright, so, I'm just gonna wipe that list clear, and I'm gonna start it from scratch, and hopefully it'll work. Sometimes you need to, uh, apparently, uninstall it from Twitch, and then reinstall it. Alright, uh, let's see, I said confetti. And throw. Thank you for subscribing again, Redolphin. I always appreciate it. Okay. It should have worked. It should be, uh, what? what? How, how is it pronounced? Mm. The laughing one is, uh... Yeah, it's 3XD. You have to type in Subara. Subara 3 and then XD. Is XD capital? XD's capital. Well, damn, it didn't work. Unfortunate. Why isn't it working? Oh, it's lowercase. It's lowercase. S U B A R A 3 capital X D. Yep, there we go. Yay! Alright, uh, let's get back to the murder. Mm -hmm. Murder. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Oh yeah, sorry. You probably want to see how that looks. <laughs> Subara. Three. Capital XD. Just uh, do that without a space all together and it'll work. <laughs> hey, Ota, what are you doing? Being a wee. Damn, your eyes open up pretty hard. Die. Damn. Oh, your A set? Mr. Dante from the MPD. Damn. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. Why is your mouth not saying you what you're saying? A detective? Why is your mouth not saying what it's saying? Well, I've never met a real detective before. No spaces, Mike. The three has to be next to the A and the XD has to be next to the three. Yeah, I'm a real detective. I solve real murder. Are you feeling feelings, my dude? But we're a detective. We're supposed to be hard shell shells of solo solemn sadness. W what the hell are we doing? Is something the matter? No, nothing. Increase blood flow, my guy. Who, who? Look at her cat ears. Ask her cat ears questions. Oh, no, you can't. All right. <clears throat> Are you oh. A-set? Let me confirm something. <laughs> Damn straight, Platypus. No capital, Mike. <laughs> like, you're doing it right. You just keep putting a key. <laughs> no capitals. You're A-set, right? In the Suba part. The XD is capital. Let's play a game. Shadows! Um, thread? Silhouette? A set. The hell? Fears. Uh, upset? Regret? A set. Whoa! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Thank you for following! My gosh! You, you you put in the punishing blow, the finishing blow, for sure. It's 
should work. Ah, uh, now that you follow, try it one more time, the bottom one, Platypus. <laughs> it should be a follower thing. I don't think it's a subscriber thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to send you into the... Nah, it's all good. It happens sometimes. I mean, like... It, it, it does happen. I got better, though. Yep, uh... I, mean, I, mean, I don't think it's a subscriber thing. I didn't think I put it down for subscribers. But, uh... That's a good one. You got me there. <laughs> like, it should be... Yeah, you can just click on the emote on the side. And it should work. Unless it is a subscriber one. At least you have lol. It's close enough, if anything. You got a better. Got him. <laughs> oh, is that Nature's Wildfire? Oh, it's also Moxie! I was gonna sub and Twitch PayPal me over. I'm sorry. You're good, Moxie. You're good. You subscribed in my heart. Good stuff. Good stuff. I came in at the right time. Yeah, you came in to see me die! <laughs> it's like opening the door and then just me laying on the ground like, oh. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, I'm saying you're good. Water. Wet sweat ASAP. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, okay, you're at work. I pray for you, Nature's Wildflower. I pray for you. Good luck. <laughs> Yay! ASAP, you bet! I wanna smack both of them. Is that fair? Is that fair? That's, 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 I'm not being crazy here if I want to smack both of them, right? I, I wish you didn't have to even go, but, you know, existence is, uh, expensive. I feel that. <sighs> right? Dante, <laughs> Dante, Dante's my spirit animal, almost. <laughs> Just like, what the hell was that? The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. <laughs> I love you, Elf. <laughs> <I've>, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's like this place is stupid. Let's get out of here before we catch the stupid. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> yep. No. No. He. She, leave. Let me out. Let me go. I want out. Dante, it's a plant. Ants. I forgot she loves she loves ants. Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Ah, uh, I have a taco truck payday though. <gasps> Ooh. I love tacos. I actually went to Taco Bell today. I got my Baja Blast, and I am a refreshed person. Honestly, I I, I missed it so much. <laughs> Every second spent here is a brain cell. Honestly. Honestly, all right. Let's see. So about a set. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. Yo, shut up! Weren't you just shit talking here online? So so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Step down. I'm I'm engaging the horny just loads shotgun with <laughs> malicious intent. <laughs> Can't take what? <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> you actually want to talk? Yeah, yeah. We went we went across the bridge. Remember? Me and Dan went across the bridge. So like, Taco Bell was priority number uno. Cause uh, hell yeah, Biden. I need me. I need my Baja Blast. Okay, I'm only. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna even finish this it's because uh, currently I'm not. But you know, whatever. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was a myth, like Santa Claus or Jim Carrey. Well, what do I say to that, platypus? That's amazing. 
<laughs> it's a fabled place. Apparently, it used to be abundant, but ever since the age of, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Gentrification. Uh, I, we, we lost the great civilization of Taco Bell. And... Now there's one, but it's behind a hidden waterfall in the Amazon rainforest. And that's where I went today. Because I wanted Baja Blast. And nothing's gonna stop me from getting Baja Blast. Do you understand? Mountain Dew, if you ever watch this, understand that I will unofficially, officially, always represent Baja Blast. I'm green for Baja Blast. I drink too much Baja Blast. That's why I'm green. Yep. Little known for story. Factual statement. Just remember that. Everything changed when the change fires. <laughs> Pretty much. I cost the ridges instead of going to Yorktown. Well, I also had to get rid of cardboard. Nature's wildflower. That needed to be done. But unfortunately, that wasn't entirely done. But, you know, good enough. Good enough. Let's get back to this guy and uh, his uh, certain... Uh, what was it? <laughs> yeah, I forgot they uh, his shrimping activities. He's a bona fide shrimp. When I'm with her, I just my head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know. Okay. Did you talk with her last night? Oh. Um, I heard about it. About Ocha seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Damn, straight up. Straight up no cap. No cap! Zero cap! Ah, uh, bless his god to your dude. And only within the context of Taco Bell. One cannot exist without the other. I know! And when they took my Taco Bell, they take my Baja Blast, and that makes me a very sad, angry person. But I had Baja Blast today, so I am refreshed. Platypus, I feel that. You're speaking absolute facts. Tessa. Why didn't you come to the police? Such Jeez, what's that face? Ayaba's mouth is always perfect. She never makes weird faces. She, she's just perfect. Just look at her. Look at Ayaba. Wait, let me help. Let me help you look at Ayaba. All right. Uh, <clears throat> All right, all right, all right, all right. You see Iba right there? Nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. Nope, can't do it. There we go. Yeah, you see Iba? I love Iba. 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 Let's just make the whole screen Iba for a minute. And just remember all the small things in life. Like Iba. And remember that we love them. Love you, Iba. You're an I. Yeah, I got that in the first play. Uh, for, you were here for the first part, but um, I think it expires a little later tomorrow, or maybe after. The first part of what the playthrough, is, I gotta save, cause it was just so much packed into it. I mean, like it was so ridiculous. But last week, for whatever Wednesday, we played this game, and I I had to come back. I had to come back. Iba. Yes, Iba is the apple of my eye. It's true. Iba is the only eye I need. If I ever need an eye, I'm getting Iba. Alright, anyway. Oh, oh my gosh. Enough of my own shrimping for now. Uh, let me just... Uh, boop. Alright, that should be good to unlock. Alright, cool. Return it. It's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Iba's cool. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. Yeah, so I was just like, I saw a dead body, but I was a brave man. I didn't run. He told her about a dead body he found for attention. This man would do anything for her attention. And that's a very scary problem. But it makes him a shrimp. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. No, I need to fall. <laughs> how? Yeah, how? It's all over the internet. 
Wait, then somebody was there first? Oh, oh. Wait, what? How? He's a cipher so I When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. So Wait, what? Okay, I got I got I got it. Well, not look, more like a gawk or an enraptured gaze. Damn. All right, anyway, Shoko. I took out Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. Okay. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? Uh-oh! Thank you for the uh, the posture check. Ah, uh, uh, stretching. All right, and uh, I have to open this bottle. Water bottle. I got water bottle for the hype team. Thank you for the hydration. I do appreciate it ever so much. All right, let us continue. <clears throat> I didn't know that either. She had a daughter? They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. Oh, they kind of look the same. God, her body seems so weird from this. Why? Is it long arms and long neck? Why, why does their anatomy just seem really scary? Am I alone here? Like, are you seeing this? You're seeing how they're moving, right? It's a little alien. They have like pencil necks almost. She looks like a Karen. Yeah, XXXholic. Jesus. Yeah, we're done with that. It has also not yet been reported that the father has an actual that. neck. <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> he, if you think if you think her neck was extra thick, look at this man. <laughs> like a damn tree trunk. It has also not been reported that Shoko is Serenji Usek's wife. Alright, I don't have to ask Oda. This man is uh in another world. So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. Okay, I keep I keep missing her. Wait, remember, look her in the eyes. All right. How old are you? I turned 18 this year. Now listen, I know what you're all thinking. But stop. Get some help. Senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. See, Iba, Iba, Iba gets it. Iba gets it. Smart Iba. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Good job saying that out loud, Date. Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Why are you smiling so hard? <laughs> Wait a second. If I have a grown man randomly say that, I'm gonna question things. <laughs> like, wait, 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 slow down. Like, slow down. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're just gonna leave that like it was? Wait, Platypus, slow down. Like, slow down. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. What's your relationship with Oda? She's about to say the coldest shit tonight. Let's go. Her like a goddess in a summon thrall. Bro. I'd feel bad for you, but like that'd be a wasted effort. It's feeling bad for you is like throwing K 
tearing into a deep hole that never is gonna reach the point. My goodness, this man is a lost cause. Her <laughs> thrall. If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Oh man, you are the worst kind of person in existence. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting fashed online. Say it. Looks directly at Oda. Say it. Go ahead. Tell her who's been bashing her online. Say it, you. Say it. Say it. Say it, superhero. Do it. <laughs> uh, if you were here for uh, last week, you understand what happened. Uh, for, uh, let me recap something real fast for you. It happened toward the end of the last stream. Um, Oda here made multiple accounts that were insulting Aset. So he could defend her on his main account. Like absolute scum. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Anyway. Stop. You're making me blush. And then he really takes full credit. Like I'm defending you from everybody. Gee. He makes my skin crawl. <laughs> right, Tati? Uh, about the sock puppeting. Sock hey, puppeting. Let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winner. Yeah, they really don't want to get sued also, Platypus. I've got to be real with you. They, they, they don't want to get sued. Two winner? Two winner? <laughs> Defends her from everyone, including himself. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. But he does it in like the worst way. Anyway, <laughs> to winter. Wait. <laughs> huh. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Look at his face. It's it's a sick burn, but then you see his face and you're like, can can you not though? What if you didn't? Ah. Yeah. Just be cool. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you do such a thing? Are you friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me how much, tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Alright, um, that's all I had to ask you. Alright, um, we're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadam. Yeah, it worked. I, I'm happy it worked. Catch works. I'm not sure everything else works. So, please take it easy. And if it doesn't work, I'll try to refund you after stream. But... Right. Be very it's wary. It might not. At least catch works. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. What the hell? You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Cause I'm nosy, duh. Tee hee hee. <laughs> like really? Let us see. I'll test them all. Take it easy. Take it easy. There's no need to go that far, Nature's Wildflower. It's a peaceful day. I died once already. Please. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. I like how she disappeared. Oh. Ota, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Oh, I just noticed the mouse was here. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> Mr. Dante! Oh, wow. Uh, don't touch me! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! 
Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! Okay, no, they're the same kind of scum. They're the same type you. of scum. I don't like what them. What are you doing? I don't like either of these two. Oda oh, and Aset deserve each other. Oh, uh, yeah. I hate them both. She really just did that. She really made me look like... Hi, receptionist. You're scum! Ew! You frame people for shit, are you? Bro, there's no way you're that short. <laughs> oh, God. There's no way you're that short, bro. What the fuck is this? Don't <laughs> like four nine. <laughs> I want to give him a head pad at that point. You're twenty four, bro. You, you need a hug. You need you need a hug, bro. You need a hug, bro. You, you definitely need a hug. Oh my god. Like, I I won't laugh anybody's height, but I mean like this kid is literally a gremlin. In the worst sense of gremlins. Goblin. There it is. He's a goblin. Gremlins are better. He's a goblin. You know what you do to goblins? Oda. Something wrong. Something wrong? No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. Can I kill this man? Oh, oh, you're salty! Oh, oh, he's salty! Salty man. <laughs> huh. I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Did I ever mention I hate this game sometimes? <laughs> I love it, but I hate it. That, the freezing alone hurts. Huh? Right? I don't blame you. Oda is staring daggers at me. Die mad, salty bitch. Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I don't like her now. Like, the, the, she, she framed me. She, she, she's blackmailing me. Like, she's legitimately blackmailing me. This is... I, I hate that shit. <laughs> I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You testing, know. one, two, testing quack quack moth licka, you ever drink Baileys from a shoe? Ha ha JK and less? Baileys from a shoe? Nah. Nah. No. Not yet. I'll let you know. When I drink Baileys from a shoe. Yeah, why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Look at her smug face. I want to slap them both. I know I do. I feel it in my bones. Divine punishment! <laughs> Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Thank you, Iba. A thought occurred to me. Damn, they weren't lying about that! <laughs> they weren't lying! Hi, receptionist. That's all we have to say? We can talk to her be like, you saw them frame me, right? I'm not distracted, you're distracted. Alright, um... Let's get out of here. Cuz, cuz, uh, cuz, 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 um... I wasn't distracted. There you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Driving my car. Can I crash on purpose? I mean, accident? Damn, I have to ask her questions while I drive? About Ota. Why do you ask? He's not even in the car. <laughs> you two are very close for an idol of the fan. Ota is special. He really is like a hero to me. Uh, what? 
hero, huh? Why do you come well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? Nope, Ota didn't tell me jack shit. I'm most famous on the internet. Oh man, you're YouTube famous. I do songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. I do that last part too! Oh shit! Maybe she isn't so bad after him. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. Do you mean Minecraft? <laughs> Do you mean Minecraft? <laughs> Minecraft? I'd say Terraria too, but I mean like there's circles in Terraria. There's just cubes. Minecraft. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> I'm a Minecraft streamer. <laughs> what about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. Background singer? Damn. I don't get many gigs either. Why can I... I, I see what I can do here in this car, but why do I get your whole entire thigh and legs? I didn't know it's this kind of game. I didn't know it was this kind of game. <laughs> How did you start working for Lemiski? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemiski? Well, not exactly. Lemiski. I realize how Dante you in reference I made I'm so sure. Ouchie. I don't I do Somehow I think I remember it, but damn I, I, I feel that platypus. It's like you you make you make one joke and you're like, damn, this is an ancient artifact. <laughs> Like, for instance, that episode about the pizza from Spongebob that people probably reference at least once or twice uh, a year or month. Yeah, I know it's pretty wide range, but still. This one's on the house, all that stuff. I can't have anything with my without my tie, Dr. Kelp. All that shit. Yeah, that's like 20 years old now. I'm like, damn. Physical pain. <clears throat> Mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okura said to come see him at his office. And he hooked me up. Okay. Ah, ah, Super Mario Sunshine's 20. <laughs> I remember it coming out on GameCube. Ah! <laughs> Questions. Questions. Uh, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. Looks at her directly, locks the doors. I never said that. She never saw my badge. She doesn't know what I am. I can drive away and never be seen again, and neither would she. Just for blackmail. Right? <laughs> That's right. The years start coming and you don't stop coming. It's true. It's true. Except for I don't feel like we hit the ground running. I feel like we hit the ground and, uh, did a really wicked flip and then landed on our face after. Listen, 
I'm not dirty yet. I am not dirty. But I uh, I have been through three world ending scenarios and two plagues or a nationwide virus. It's just wild. It's just out of control. This <laughs> it's insane. Oh yeah, no. Right. Facts. Facts, platypus. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! Ugh, what the fuck was that? Her tongue moved into her mouth, but it didn't move out. Oh, that was a nightmarish action. That's gonna that's gonna freaking haunt my nightmares. doing just thinking about posting that video whoa hold up well then tell me damn my music we're good friends we go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together she's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems at least you know what you are. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Alright, here we go. You know, now that I think about it, wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. She didn't think about it. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Damn, Dante. You really let that one go. Because sometime real soon. Why are you smiling like that? Oh, uh, she can't even blink. Oh no, her eyes are jumping, but they're not blinking. Ah, this game is more nightmare fuel than trying to solve a case. I swear. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to die. God damn. The music stopped. The the ambiance is over. Uh, and, and you just you just came and mic dropped. What the f Your eyelashes blinked without your eyes. Your eyelashes are blinking without your eyes. Your eyelashes are blinking without your eyes. I I, I uh, I think I'm having one, bro. This is just out of control. Oh my goodness. Bruh. Yeah, even I was like, yo, what the fuck? What? I can see into the future. I don't think her facial expressions are matching up with what you say. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. She wants instead of winged teehee. Why do you look the there if you need? Honestly, uh, Vlad of Blues, it's like, it's like, <laughs> you know what they say, it's like a car crash and you can't look away. It's just like it's nightmare fuel and I can't look away. <laughs> um, Mr. Date, shouldn't you keep your eyes on the road? Shouldn't you keep that video deleted? Don't worry about it. I'm a professional. I wish I could control his hands. You don't see right now, but my I'm holding my controller both sides to the left so it hit the wall. <laughs> Imagine I could drive this car for five seconds. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date. Uh oh, I was lecturing me, which means I shouldn't be saying nothing. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. So why did you tell her? Wow, cool! Could have made up something. Don't tell anyone. 
I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. <sighs> if I was Oh, what? I bitch these nuts! <laughs> I skeleton! <laughs> That's clever. This is anything you can hope for. Hello. Well, it's something. Randomly swearing to Isis is not a good thing anymore. Okay, Ice. Aset. Aset. Don't swear to Isis. Swear to somebody else. Swear to Bastet. Or even better, if you watched Moon Knight. Pray, uh, swear, swear to our hippo goddess. We love our hippo goddess. Yes. Also, or swear to Bastet. Either one. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I'm not talking about alligator mommy if you watch Moon Knight. We won't go that far. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Why is everybody got a name? Iris, Center Iris. around eyes, 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 Iris, Iba, <laughs> Abyss, AI. The name of the game is about eyes. How many eyes are there? <laughs> I know, weird, right? Why is your heart beating, my dude? Why do you remember as a child? As fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? What's Date's last name? <laughs> Is this Date's daughter and he didn't know? Wait, of course he knew. He played with her. Yo, what the hell was that? <laughs> Next character throws me off. You have knowledge of this game, Skeletor. Hey! What's up, Liz? Welcome. How is you doing? How is you tonight, Liz? Ah, oh, Skeletor. You're playing with me. <laughs> Okay, I gotta find out what her last name was again. Iris Sagan. I feel like I'm like, I'm good. I'm just tired, but like, uh, I just keep moving forward. <laughs> That's all I got right now. I mean, oh wow. Okay, I might look into that too. I know how it is when one of your favorite game company makes another thing. It's a fire feeling. Yeah. But Liz, I'm just doing my best to exist. That's all. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today as well. I hope everybody's doing well, honestly. We need th some good times coming through. Alright, um... AI... The song of them files... Date. Oh, Kaname Date. Okay, got it. So I don't know yet. No, there's nothing. Why do you remember her? That's the best we can do, right? The reason I'm getting zooted in is watching Doctor Strange 2. Well, it's never going to be as trippy as number one, but, uh, damn. It's, it's definitely, it makes you think. <laughs> I feel like number two makes you think a lot more than number one did. Because number one, where, uh, when she forced, pushed his soul out of his body, that, that, I can't imagine watching that part lit, like, You'd be all over the room. You'd probably be on the floor. <laughs> I can't imagine. Excuse me. You Konami Date. That's right. Why do you have your eyes covered? Who the hell do you think you are? 
And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. Can you shut up, like, your whole entire face? Not just your mouth. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. You didn't look into it or nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's still amazing. Like, that, that is a milestone for, like, <laughs> that kind of art, to be honest. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. And this is where the body was? Yeah. It's kind of what bodies do. They just chill. It's a bench. <gasps> it's a bench. I wonder how many couples sat there. It makes me kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. Bro. Where is this anger coming from? I have a fax. Couples sitting on the benches. I hate benches. <laughs> A panda ride, the type that you put a coin in. I can wait there. I'm not gonna be punished, am I? Ah, the references! The references! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Man, Potter's late every time. A freaking Dakin Ropa reference. A Dakin Ropa reference of everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Wow. <laughs> of course, there's a tank and rope reference. A parasol. A Ferris wheel. Reminds me of a giant. A giant eye staring down. Okay, we get it. Eyes. Control room. I might be old, but damn. I'm not. Uh, are you dumb? Y you can't be that dumb, right? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. Damn, she got me. <laughs> Damn, she got me. Damn, I fell for it. Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Talk about Al. Talk about Al. Damn, she really played her trap card. That's a whole. It has a whole new now from all the years of weathering. Uh, policeman. How's the investigation coming along? Yeah, it's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. Nothing. A local cop. Fence. There's a fence around the merry-go-round. There's a fence around the merry-go-round. A local cop. Horse. Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Zoom. This horse is made of horse. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Hmm? Wait a second. Iva. Can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse, and it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. So, she wasn't killed here. That must mean... Okay. Column. <clears throat> Last night, I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Good question. Why can't I walk closer? Michael. What are you doing? Trying to find some clues. I'm trying to be a detective. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. When you talk, it's stupid. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one 
by one. That's quite an imagination. But do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. Have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Blue Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. Did you just... Is this a reference to Chernobyl? Because there was a... There was... The same exact thing happened in Chernobyl. There was a amusement park that was supposed to open like the day before. The day after. The incident happened. And then Chernobyl happened and they had to abandon the whole thing. So there's just like, there was a perfectly good carnival that they had to like abandon. And they keep showing pictures of it online. If you look up Chernobyl, uh, Chernobyl, um, Amusement park you, you can see it for yourself. It's really really awesome. It's interesting. It's sad and it's interesting but like damn This a reference the government quickly issued evacuation orders Eventually the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate to <laughs> Chernobyl if you ask me shit Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed but a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually Okay. Why do you think it's horses? Virtual? Horse? <laughs> Skeletor. Skeletor. <laughs> Horses. <laughs> yeah. The horses. The horses, Skeletor. It's the link of everything. <laughs> Sounds kind of like Horus, right? Oh, shut up. Why is it Egyptian gods with you? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. So why do you commit a murder at night? Hmm? The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. Oh, we're talking about eyes again. Also, yes. Also, yes, Skeletor. And we're talking about eyes again, because, you know, why not eyes? The left eye is the eye of Wajek, Isis. and that one is the moon. <laughs> Horus, eyes of Ra, eye of Wajit. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. Stop talking about eyes. The all-seeing eye. The Illuminati? Now we're messing with the Illuminati because it has an eye in it? The next time I play this, I'm literally just going to be like, why is this game mentioned so many eyes? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I hate, I hate. I hate everything. I hate everything. I hate like it all. on the back of a one dollar bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Prominence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. This game's so woke. It's just, it's just so woke. It's just, it's just the most woke game you've ever seen. Starting to see the picture. Oh, stop saying C so much. You don't have to use it every sentence. Not really. You're wasting time. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iva. Iva? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she in front of my eyes? 
God, the dialogue. They can't keep getting away with this. So what am I supposed to talk to? I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. The eye that was missing. Osa told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. So why were you holding it? Suki? We couldn't find her eyeball, so... The hell is this all about? Aw, oh, come on! Just a little longer. No, I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay. Okay, I guess. Hey, you all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. I'm leaving what? right now. She's joking, Where obviously. Are you kidding? It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. I'm not letting anybody hold me back after you say that. Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. I love you, Iva. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Bro, stop. Bro, stop, please. <laughs> Iris is the murderer. That'd be that'd be interesting. Why why would she murder? She has no uh I almost said probable cause. I meant she has no uh no reason to be the murderer, right? You did that for a piggyback ride. Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Who the hell are you, Sundari? Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I Do it. Put it right back where it came from. Good one, Date. <laughs> we are edgy. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. All right, so opens the passenger window. Wait, seriously? No, but I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hi, Tenchi. You missed the uh, Dankin Ropa um, reference. Accidental nap. Oh man, I love that. It's like I shouldn't lay down for a second. I'm not actually. Yeah. <laughs> Just knock out. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going a hundred, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. What game did I download? What game did I get? What is this game? What is this game? <laughs> Can somebody explain to me what the hell this game is? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> ah! oh my God. Okay, are you happy? Are you satisfied? Skeletor, come on, man! 
10 years later. My horse is dead. Dead as hell. Holding D cups. I. Why? 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 Why are we here? Just to suffer. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have a clip when that happens next time. When you when you use death, it's just gonna start playing the Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> just to suffer. Not every day I feel like... <laughs> Phantom feelings. Uh, uh, okay, I'm better now. But, but, ow. Ow, man. Ow. Don't hurt me like that no more. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't do it. Wait, log. I skipped some. Alright. So, a recap. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going a hundred, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Okay. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. Well, I guess. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. Well... Feels like you're holding D, D cups. Good to know. We're gonna we're gonna conduct an experiment soon. <laughs> you should come in. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We've seen this place before. No, that's all right. Ooh, going home already. Oh no. Our dreamscape is shaped like that. We've been here before. I said goodbye, then turned to leave. But out of the corner of my eye. Milf. Milf. Oh, who is this, Iris? Milf. Milf. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I felt my body freeze because that woman. She's. Why did I see you dead? No, it can't be. It can't be. I felt like my mind and body were being torn in opposite directions. What does this mean? As I stood there, stunned, Iris grabbed my hand. Come on, I'll make some tea. Bro. Oh no, bro. Why do I see you dead? Why are you dead? Why are you grabbing your arm like that? Oh, you're just scratching you're, yourself. You're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris. Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Jesus.
After an awkward silence, Iris brought us some tea on a tray. <clears throat> she put everything down on the table and sat on the sofa. Oh no, look, another person with an eye. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. It told me. Yeah. At least it sounds like me. Iris literally has eye in it. Like, literal eye. And also, just the pronunciation alone. So I guess I should talk to I uh, Hitome first. I'm not pressing the left one. Bish, you live like this? <laughs> I'm a teacher at the local uh. elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Okay, Shodas, you get this one. GG, everybody. We can go home. <laughs> By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. God, I love you. I'm... Um, this is about to be a... Uh... Yes, yeah, Skeletor, you get it. You get it. He told me. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? No reason. Let me look at that door. There's a door in the back of the room. Like, I was in this place. Like, everything almost matched. Just lights are off. There are a lot of dishes. And... Iva, let me know if you're cold. Why would you say that after I looked at a microwave? Don't you dare! I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I hate you, Dante. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. See? If you don't wife with Iva, what are you even doing? What are you even doing? Go ahead, put your heart in the microwave. <laughs> Let's heat up that leftover. A refrigerator. Dante, a riddle. How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? Does anybody have ideas for this? I have nothing. <laughs> How do you put a giraffe in a refrigerator? A giraffe in a refrigerator. Your last name wouldn't be Tanaka. It'd be Hitomi. Well, that's Hitomi's first name. You don't know her Wait, no. Did you say it was something else before Hitomi? No, she just said her first name, Hitomi. So her name is Hitomi, and then so, so whatever the hell Iris's was. It's wild how I can't pull up a... The solution is this. You open the door, put the giraffe in, and close the door. Wait, what? It's a porn star. Oh, that Hitome! I know what you're talking about. This is a problem. <laughs> I mean, like... Oh, no! Ah, no! <laughs> He's like, he knows too much. <laughs> Good one, Dolphin. I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Yeah, you know, she told me. I mean, like, everybody should know he told me at this point. I mean, like... He told me. 
<laughs> like it. What kind of a riddle is that? If you know, you know. If you don't, you'll learn. You'll learn. Tiki. Iki. Another riddle. How do you put an elephant in the refrigerator? Open the door and then close. Put the elephant in and close the door. Door. Put it in. Close the door. Incorrect. The giraffe is already inside. I but what the fuck? <laughs> You must remove the giraffe before you put the elephant inside. And now there's an elephant in the room, Iba. <laughs> and you don't, Fox? You just... What do you mean? I know who Tilma is. I made the joke. And how could I not know who Tilma is, though? I mean, like... I mean, like... <laughs> hypnotizing those videos hypnotizing that is the solution your riddles could use some work all right anything else i can make fun of let's talk about hentai another time like uh distinguished people you know just just wait dining table always sit here and ask the spirits what they think it's Shut not up, a divining table oh i see it's a difference he needs a I can't see from here, but there's probably a sink and, the, and a stove on the other side. I imagine. A phone. A phone telephone in the corner. The flowers. The flowers. It's an iris. I'm gonna have a whole conniption, guys. Everybody, everybody, I'm gonna have a whole conniption. I feel like the Flash right now, dealing with all these irises. I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. I oh God, there's more than one. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cushion. I've seen that cushion somewhere before. No. Not just the cushion. I saw this entire room in my dream last night. Is there a problem, Date? No. That's nothing. Hmm. It's not mentioning the light switch. It's a drawing on the wall. I wonder if Iris drew this when she was younger. Oh, I did it again. Alright. I thought something new was popping up. Holy crap! The mysterious object. It's a calendar and a strange object on the shelf. It reminds me of some kind of angel. They, they just made a reference to ne Evangelion. That's an Evangelion reference to that that freaking that freaking meme, the, the, the angel that screams and blows up half the city. Bro, I can't believe it. I can't believe all the references in this game. This game has so many references. Tenchi, do you see this? Are you seeing this shit, Tenchi? <laughs> I'm only shouting out Tenchi because he's the only one, the other one that I know that watched Evangelion at least. I imagine he has. Oh my god, though. <laughs> Street is in geometry. Yeah! What is that object? I can ask them, you know, like a normal person would. Clock. A clock. Wait, there's another one. I can't call this one out. Got it. Shoebox. I wonder what they. Date, shut the fuck up. Shut up, Date. You are beyond perverted. Hey, these thoughts are private, okay? Yeah, no, she's she's right. You're you're sick, man. I wouldn't shelf. A bookshelf. There's no book on it, but it's definitely a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog before, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no books on this bookshelf, but I know it's a bookshelf. I saw it in a catalog. The front door. Oh, lamp. Stuff in the bookshelf. What's on this side? A boombox! A speaker system. Two speakers and a console. Two speakers and a long, thin box in the middle. Alright. I guess my job's done in that regard. Window. You can see the trees and sky outside. Alright. I think I've looked around it. A ceiling fan is spinning. It's a light. It's for lighting. No freaking duh. Alright. I think that's all I can look around at. So. Let's, let's go ahead. So for... Iris and her mom had told me are sitting on the sofa. All hot and shit. I mean, what am I saying? There are some elementary school elementary workbooks on the table. But looking closely, one in the middle is different. Osagami Re Sumo Wrestler Directory. Osagami Sumo. Damn, her, her mom's into wrestling. Steam is rising from the tea. A coffee table. All right, Tommy, let's ask the real questions. How old are you? I'm 37. Hot. I mean, the nice. Cyrus here is 18? Yep. Let me do some quick math. 18 minus 37. 7 from 7. 0. 1, 20. Minus one more. 19, huh? You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. Look at me. I'm so smart. I am smart. I know quick maths. Tee hee. Let's go, BB. <laughs> what about your husband? Damn, I just changed the whole mood. Shit. I don't have one. So. No husband, huh? Nice. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. Oh. This dude hit and quit. Damn, I can't believe it. A single mother. There should be no jokes made in this, but damn. Yes. I mean, there shouldn't be a joke made out of that. You did good. She's a weeaboo, but you did good. I saw her. I saw her in my dream last night. No, that's impossible. Hello, Chipper. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> oh no. Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was. Well, I don't know. Huh? Okay, well, that's, that's, that's some questionable behavior. Yes, Tetchy, that's the, that's the goal here. Iris, I'm sorry, you're not the one from me. It's your mom. Don't take it personally. You can still call me daddy. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a loaded thing right there. Um, excuse me, Hotomi? Know me? Oh, uh, sorry for the strange question. It just feels like we've met before. No. This is the first time we've met. Of course. Okay, so I'm not gonna ask that again. Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Oh, well, this then. doesn't speed this up. Shit. I had questions to ask. Are you left-handed? Oh. Uh, Mom used to be right-handed. 
But now... Oh. It locked up on me. Ah, huh, I see. Iris was hinting about the flowers blooming behind her. Oh, it's just gonna keep doing that. Alright, I know what she means. Damn. Alright. Yeah, thanks to you. I feel as tough as a lion. Rawr. How am I supposed to react to that? Yeah, no. Seriously, I wish I had an AI for that. What the hell do I say? <laughs> and the AI would be like, bro, I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> How am I supposed to react Don't to think that? about it. You'll only hurt yourself. I need an AI like Aiba. Thanks, Aiba. I won't think about it. Brain shutting down. Alright, um... Well, I should say goodbye to your mother first because, uh... Goodbye, well. ma'am. I think it's time for me to be heading home. I stood and headed for the door. Iris and Hitomi stood politely. Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But. Because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate, after all. What? You are very bad at explaining things, Dante. You're very bad at explaining things, my guy. He's like, you're roommates with a 12-year-old? I'm like, wait, 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 that sounds bad. I know it sounds bad. I know it sounds bad. I, I know it sounds bad. It, I... Bruh, I, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> just call her cringe, that's it. <laughs> anyway, be seeing you. I don't know, that's a little cringe and unbased. Wrong. Ah, uh, excuse me. Wow. I should head home. Wow, what an asshole. All right, take care of <laughs> What an asshole. <laughs> the second he reached out his hand, I was just like, no, 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 no. I feel bad for her already. Besides the fact that she's probably going to get murdered. That makes me feel super sad. And I, I understand it's so early game, I don't understand what's actually happening. So I'm not going to be able to save Dante, her. Let's Very go sad. Over the facts of the case. Good idea. Charging, yo! Your cars charge by themselves in the future. Let's go, baby. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What, Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. <laughs> hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure. Let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. Half the things in this fucking car around. Oh, I can move his head. Yeah. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. <laughs> so I will terminate you. Don't push yourself, Dante. No, I'm fine, Dante. You do not appear to be fine. Alright, there's just me. An unsettling to see yourself with the naked eye. Well, I suppose it's not the naked eye. My left eye, Aiba, is outside the socket, walking around. But whatever Aiba sees is sent to the optic nerve in my left eye so socket. Her body and the terminal in the back of my eye socket are connected wirelessly. So, oh, you're my car? You're my freaking car now, Aiba? Oh, let's go. Let's hear the timeline events. Aiba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. 
Okay, so at approximately 5 p.m. Sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Okay, at approximately 5 p.m., Shoko's uh I forgot what that's supposed to what's TOD supposed to stand for? Time of death. There you go. Toko's time of death. Uh, undis uh, undeclared time, Mizuki receives a Nile message, send unknown sender, request to come to Bloom Park. 8.10, Mizuki calls Oda, asks him to accompany her to Bloom Park. 10 o'clock, Mizuki and Oda discover Shoko's corpse. So it had been a four hour difference from the time that they reached there. Oda leaves Mizuki, flees crime scene. 9.05, Oda reports crime via payphone. 9.30, first responders arrive on scene, discover Shoko's corpse. 10.50, Date arrives at scene. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Damn. All right. About Shoko's course. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. Just Mizuki's, because she touched it. About the blood stains. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job, if there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Alright. Can I have about Shoko's corpse again? What? The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. Okay. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. That leaves one question. If she was with her friend and he ran, maybe the suspect was still around and she was trying to defend herself. That's my next idea. Charging right now, she doesn't have a built-in generator. That means that I have to charge her sometimes. Okay. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Could she have taken the eye? I don't know, that sounds kind of weird. Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the court? I have no idea. Wow, how'd they move the corpse? How did they move the corpse? I have questions too, that's pretty interesting. They moved the corpse, but to where did they move the corpse? Welcome back. Hi boss. I brought her here after her examination was over. Yeah, boss. 
Ten cheek, wife is on screen. Well, she was on screen. Damn, yeah, look at you. You traumatized the shit. No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. He'd been poking the nurses? Oh my. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Yeah. yeah same thing. You know what you need to do. <laughs> same now, thing. Right? Permission, blackmail, it gets you the what you need. Sync with her. I have to sync with her? Alright. Ready, get into the precision. Fusion ha! <laughs> oh, what? For real? For real? Boss, what the hell is this? Guy from Pokemon, what the hell is this? Oh wow, I'm on a different level. That's funny. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Now where on earth did you learn that? Nice. It opened up. It's completely packed with books. They're all Homer. Okay. Well, we just found out a lot real fast. They're all homoerotic BL manga and gay romance novels. Interesting, Peter. Interesting. So we found out what Peter's about. A metal shelf placed along the show. Blah, blah, blah. CRT monitor. Date, look, it's the girl from that horror movie. Coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? How many references are packed into this? Hey, Jack Shondorulo. Thank you for the hydration. Mm. Appreciate. Yeah, no, this this is really interesting game. Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across this monitor. Alright, locker. Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. That's rock. Hell yeah. All the different kinds of rock. All right, Peter. Hola, Happy Pride Month. Como es Tommy Zorito. Hola, Taco. Que paso? Oh, let's see. All right, let's start asking the questions that matter. A binder full of papers. It looks like a manual for psych. All right, boss. Any progression in the investigation? You're me that now? Yeah. Damn straight. I'm asking you to sink <laughs> Mizuki. Maybe Mizuki saw something no at progress. the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any question. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Damn, boss. Are you about to? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. Damn. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. Uh-oh. How's Mizuki doing? Her vitals are stable. Bruh. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. About Iba. Hey, Peter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? I love do it. something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike? 
Oh man, you're rude. If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Damn, she's serious. Huh. So you were listening, huh? One minute. Only I'm sorry about the noise in the background, so I'm gonna mute my mic for a second. Sure, this is okay. <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, real, yeah, no, Mike is muted because, uh, uh, you could probably hear everything in the background right now, right? Can you hear it? If you don't hear it, I'll keep it unmuted. But I'm pretty sure you're hearing everything. Do you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then, uh, I'll be back soon, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know how to get into that freaking room right now. I gotta be watching. We are ready Did it. to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Agent Date, Mizuki is ready. That's nice. But uh, I don't want to have to fill up everything, so I'm just gonna be quiet for a little. Let's 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 all sink into the uh, ambiance. Her heart rate is rising, and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, but. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called the Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have 
deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Last time, you were laughing about how it looked like throw up, but it tasted so good, you were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or? I have a. Sorry, I'm really bad at this. I have a better at reading the room. System. New feature. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing too much. It's very useful. Sure, got it. <sighs> Yo, is that the new VR headset? You ready? Yeah, it's dead now though. I okay. Me. Ready anytime. Remember, Date. You have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah. Bro, that sounds like a freaking threat. What? I'll six find a minutes? Lead and get out in under six minutes. Yo, this is a little more scary than I thought. We're counting on you. It was a fan sculpture. Let's begin. God, I hate my sink. Or my, my tub. Uh, we're gonna fix that eventually. Shrimp waifu. Is that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Look, you're trying I to knew that, it. You'd have to I freaking it. knew it. I knew it was a freaking Terminator reference. Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. This is references to everything. The here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? The world! Still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? Yes, I've watched it. Right? <laughs> people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six, but with this, you could take your time and explore- Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate!
Mental lock number one. Ah, oh, crap. Mental lock number two. Mental lock number three. Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you can be able to get important information. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Yo, these horses, they don't look like they're well. An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Why is it shaking? Is that supposed to be happening? Iba, the speaker over there. Hmm. It's shaking. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What the hell do you mean? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Well, duh. There's six minute time limit in insomnia. Time is experienced whenever Alba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right corner of the screen. Lock all mental locks within 360 second time limit. Oh shit. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. I like that it pauses so I can talk. Oh shit! Oh shit! Um, um what? Uh. Oh shit! Leave it in there, pull it out. Leave it in there, pull it out. Leave it in there, pull it out. Date, are you certain? Will this heal? I don't know. Understood. It won't. No good, huh? Mizuki is still a child. This looks simple, maybe, but this is a dream. Investigate. Shoko's photograph. We pushed it in. Let's pull it out. No one would want to see their mother like this. Excuse me? It keeps going. What if something happened over there? Okay, it stopped hitting the point. Okay, melts lock one down. I know, I tried, Rodolfo. I tried. <laughs> the pillar became a lightning rod. It told me to pull out. What do you mean? Our next step must be to remove it. First step was always push in. Date, we got a timey. Oh, what the fuck? Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. I'm not sure I want to do this. Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream, and because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. I'm gonna die soon God, if you don't hurry up and see. Try to use get the get of me out of here. What are you explaining like this? Little Iba. <laughs> You're only able to hold three timeies. Pick up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Timeies are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, it's more time. Okay. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Shout. Stop it! Yeah! Stop it already! A mic. I feel like everything that came out of her mouth has been a reference. You're having fun, aren't you? Oh shit. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Shit, 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 control room. A mic. No, 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 no. Control room. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try. What the hell is this? 
Pulling out is no fun. Agreed. I concur. I didn't expect to see this inside. Has she never seen the inside? But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck off, fuck off. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Um. Let's see. What is it? It looks like a picture of something. Picture? Shit, shit, I got it. A bird cave. There are ripped pieces of... Wait, what? All right, leave it to me. It is heavier than it looks. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. You try will allow you to return to the save point just after unlocking mental lock. You have three retries, you can go back to the only cost you. You gain your three retries by selecting restart from the menu. Jesus. There are torn pieces of paper. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Oh. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles. Done. But... Okay. You were able to get out? So the photo was the key. I remember it clearly. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. I asked Mizuki about it, she started crying. I don't know why she tore it up that photo. But whatever for her reason. Seemed like she regrets it. Since so she repaired the photo in Somnia, the birdcage. Mizuki must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can yes. Do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Shit, fuck, ass, titties, ass, shit, fuck. <laughs> Oh. A mic. Bruh. I can't open up the control room. I can't go inside the cage. You're a. Uh... The parasol is. Like this. I had a feeling. Everything's slightly connected in that sense. Everything felt like it made a little sense in that regard. Next step, how do I open the cage? We have to save Affirmative. Hmm. More than one second then you clear? You get a prize? No boss. Anything but that. Shit, 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 shit. Damn, these things look evil right now. You have less than two I'm minutes. Hurry. I'm gonna spank it. Yeah. That's not a spank, lady. You punched it? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. Yeah, I agree. Poor horse. A merry-go-round. Wait, no. You. I pressed her on me. A merry-go-round.
I know this is the horse your mom was found on, but uh That smile is terrifying. Does it look fun? You look cute like that. Oh, I see. Why are you so sad? Oh, it takes 40 seconds away. It's Mizuki. That's not good. Shit, I am so close to slapping. Mizuki. Please. Let me out. Can you let me out? Because if I had... Oh, shit! They still fast forward the time. So you gotta finish with a big enough gap to actually pick the right answer. I think if you overdo it, you still lose. I'm blue. I would I would have me. Child, are you well? Are you okay? Are you good, child? No. That's me. Dante! <laughs> Looks like she can talk again. Damn, boss. Yo, I just noticed you have the same core. <laughs> okay, don't hate me when I say this. Her hair is blue like... Like boots, she wears a yellow overcoat. She got red boots. I'm dead. She dressed like boots. I'm dead. I am completely no more. Boots never even had a yellow raincoat, right? What am I thinking of? Is that true? I hate me, Tenchi. I, it's in my head. Bruh. About Shoko. I know that after Odo ran off, something must have ha made Mizuki want to hide. The killer came back, of course. No duh. About Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Okay. Yeah, I asked my question. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnia. Part of Aiba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Aiba's functions are transferred into somnia. So that's why Somnium Aiba is so dumb. Don't call me dumb. <laughs> God, Iba's appearance. Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? 
I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Damn, I said you were cute. What Take part it easy. of that was my taste? I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Damn. I literally just said I became your perfect waifu. And this is how you're gonna... This is what I get. I become the perfect waifu. And you... And and here you are with your remarks. <laughs> Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. Okay, Iba. Okay. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Thank you. Why Iba. would that make me happy? We we know what you're about, buddy. About the figure I saw. No, oh, that I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Mm. Most likely, someone Mizuki saw in person, projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Doc? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Wow. I'm not gonna ask him who you think the suspect is. That's stupid. Well, what I saw him sound him. What's your thoughts, boss? No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. Damn, I can watch <laughs> Isn't it again. It incredible? You watch me be victory. dumb as hell. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Most likely the killer. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iva. The boss has extraordinary perception. Can you not? People outside? Come on. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. Yes, All I you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Yes, ma'am. Thoughts on the suspect? How would I know? Okay. We yeah. still don't have enough information. I wouldn't know either. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Damn, you really had to throw my name in like that. Do you have any questions? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Can you tell us why? Why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't do it for self-defense. Alright. Are you hungry? I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu, you said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. All right, so now we have to ask the real questions. How are you doing? I told you I'm fine. So annoying. Damn. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. She's a pretty smart child. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. Ooh, Date. <laughs> Ooh. Who sent you the Nile message? 
I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. Truth. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. The figure is. Hey, Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date. Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Pierre, Well, let's see. Perhaps... It was you, Special Agent Date. Why are you smiling that hard? Shut up! What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, you're trolling. I'll give you that point, Peter. I'll give you that. Alright, um... Look, Mizuki is lying in the chair. She seems to be doing okay, but... She's got that gloomy look in her eye. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It'll take a while for her to get back to normal. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone in the corner past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Okay, that explains that. Pewter is standing with his hands in his pocket. Boss, do you have any questions? Okay, any more questions? One more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Summarize for me. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Um, let's save real fast. I guess we'll save on the cart on the ride. Oh, we teleported this time. Okay, got it. When I return to the scene of the crime, I bring Mizuki with me. Oh, it's X for menu. Awesome. Let me save real fast. I learn to save often because I don't like redoing things. Holy, holy, holy. My G E E E E E D. All right, so let's see something real fast. Da da ba ba da da ba ba da ba ba da da ba da ba da ba ba da ba. 
All right. So, um. Hello. Discover here to explain our cash back match. Here's how it works. Discover, can you, you can you freaking not? Discover? How about you discover yourself a hole and don't stop discovering? All right. So, thank you all for coming to stream tonight. I appreciate it. This game is really freaking good. I mean, like, I didn't expect to get so invested into it. So, like, this is a game I want to finish now. Anybody else feel like that? Because I'm definitely feeling that. But what game? Ooh, wee. Well, let's see. shall read bum, bum, bum. all right so okay the volume is down here I think we're gonna visit uh, another VTuber named Poppy, who's playing The Darkest Dungeon. That was a game I wanted to play. It's actually pretty fun, I heard. So let's go check it out. Oh, he's not there. Damn. Alright, we're just going to chalk over any then. He's not there at the moment. Chalk over any, he's playing uh, TMNT. Let's go. Thanks everybody for coming. Have a good one. I will catch you next time. Be well, stay safe. And uh, I'll see you Monday. Bye bye.